All right, we're going to be adding some images to our website, but first what we want to do is make sure we understand the important elements within an image that make it optimized for websites. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. Okay, so I have this image open here, and uh, it's just a stock photo. This is Photoshop. You don't really need Photoshop to do some of the things that we'll be doing um, with images, but this is a good example okay so we're going to look at the width the, the dimensions of it and we're also going to look at the resolution so the width of this image is over 7,000 pixels wide most websites are about 2,000 pixels wide so this is already too wide so we'll have to adjust that and the resolution on this is 300 pixels per inch so that's pretty much print quality uh, we're on websites websites maybe 72 pixels per inch and all of this is going to make the file size smaller without affecting the quality of the image. I'm going to do this really quick just so you can see the final result and then uh, we'll do a lesson together on how to do this with some free software that's available online. So I'm just going to change the resolution down to 72 and I'm going to make the file size uh, 1920. That's a, a average width of a website is uh, 1920. All right, I'm going to save that and so you can see it kind of already made the file size smaller and now I'm going to just save this as a JPEG which is a web format and I'm going to stick it in the folder next to the original here's the original one I'm going to add an extension on here I always do this um, at the end of any image that I've optimized I always put a dash typically I'll put OPT which stands for optimized but a lot of people like to put web it's a very common thing to do whatever it is that you put there just make sure it's consistent you, you dot web or hyphen web for everything then you know those are all ready for the website okay cool let's take a look at this in the folder here all right so there's the original and um, here and here's the optimized one so I'm going to just scroll over it and there we go so we can see 7,000 pixels why this is 16 and a half megabytes this is gonna slow down a website it's gonna make it load for forever the optimized version scroll over that 1920 right that's the width but look at that 123 kilobytes right so that's a significant difference and the quality difference between these is, is won't be perceptible on a website so now that's optimized so the two factors in optimizing your image is going to be how wide it is and what the resolution is or what the pixels per inch are or dots per inch DPI or PPI now that you understand that let's go into adding these to our website, cropping them to the exact dimensions that we want and making sure they look good and load fast. And that's coming next.